नमस्ते एंड सुप्रभात ये हैप्पी मॉर्निंग टू ऑल द ब्यूटीफुल हार्ट्स इन द वर्ल्ड हैव यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट आई एम रूपा इन माय मदर टंग इज तेलुगु आई मेक वीडियोस इन इंग्लिश एंड वी आर फ्रॉम हैदराबाद वेलकम टू रूपा किंग लॉज For breakfast, I am going to prepare wheat rava dosa, which can be instantly prepared. Rinsed once rava and discarded water. Soaking the rava with butter milk. Keep it aside for ten minutes. Mix once and grind. into smooth batter adding salt followed by adding eno 1 teaspoon 1 tablespoon of water same as स्पंज दोसा यू कैन मेक और नॉर्मल दोसा जनरली फॉर दोसा आई यूज वेरी लिटिल ऑयल दिस इज वन वेरिएशन माय मॉम डज विथ व्हीट फ्लावर व्हिच टेस्ट वेरी ग्रेट with little addition of carom seeds ginger pieces onion and green chilli pieces next time i will surely share with you all that recipe please like huh? next recipes are I would like to share the chicken recipes, uh, which I have done on Kanuma festival. Stay tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Natchinda dosa, chodhi bin dosa, ulpe mukalese na, na. here chicken is cleaned and marinating with salt chilli powder turmeric nicely mixing so that the masalas be nicely coated on the chicken pieces adding half a lemon juice mixing nicely added two green chillies which are slitted and keep aside for second marination taken 1 tablespoon of corn starch 1 tablespoon of besan or chickpea flour 1 tablespoon of homemade yogurt with cream little more salt and chilli powder added now adding ginger garlic paste which freshly grounded by my mom meanwhile i prepared tea for my mom and dad also freshly grounded garam masala adding garam masala nicely give it a good mix before preparing the chicken curry i am going to marinate the chicken adding little turmeric salt chilli powder mix nicely squeezing half a lemon adding ginger garlic paste 1 cup yogurt mix nicely let it marinate for 30 minutes forgot to add mint leaf 
so again i have taken both the marinations and added give it a good mix and keep it aside here adding dry coconut powder in our house we put dry coconut shell on the flame directly and let it burn little and cut into pieces and grind that type of dry coconut powder we use in veg and non veg recipes not the desiccated one here i am putting the oil to deep fry the chicken pakodas in chicken pakodas we add only besan or chickpea flour but for a change here for this time i have added 1 tablespoon of corn flour that's all everything rest is same with no egg in the marination deep frying curry leaf followed by deep frying kaju or cashew in some of our telugu families in general we don't use either yogurt and also the curry leaves in non veg recipes but nowadays after seeing so many chef recipes we are including in a small bowl i have added little chilli powder half of the masala powder little sprinkled on the fried cashew now deep frying all the chicken pieces at low to medium flame some portions of all these dishes my dad has packed and had with their friends at their friends place as their family members all have gone to their villages for festival here i have come on to the terrace to pluck some of the all spice leaf these are tender ones these leaf has a flavor of cinnamon and clove mostly in my channel i have shown using this all spice leaf instead of bay leaf so the recipes we have prepared on that particular kanuma festival is chicken recipe that is one fry item and chicken curry and bagara rice sambar yogurt or perugu chutney and kenaf leaf pachadi or gongur pachadi on the other stove my mom is preparing bagara so this remaining masala powder sprinkling on the chicken fry pieces mixing all the fried cashew and curry leaf here adding basmati rice which are pre soaked for 15 minutes in a pressure pan the oil which i have fried the chicken pieces that same oil i am using it for the curry added onions green chilli curry leaf followed by adding little turmeric stir after frying the onions adding little ginger garlic paste remember i have added ginger garlic paste in the marination also now adding the marinated masala chicken into the cooker give it a good stir let the chicken release its water and cook meanwhile watching the rice that is bagara a glass of lukewarm water that is around 200 ml i have added in the curry here is the final dish chicken pakoda as usual checking for the taste and adjusting little more chilli powder added 1 teaspoon of homemade garam masala and 1 tablespoon of coconut powder let the chicken be cooked at low flame up to 4 whistles rice is ready and here is the chicken curry after cooking 
dishing out the sambar